Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And I got one for you guys. I've been asked, Boost, should I buy a high mileage Q50, Q60? Necessarily in this case, a Q60. So guys, we're going to look through a couple of ads and I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion. Anyway, guys, you already know what to do. Hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Welcome everybody back. Welcome everybody back to the channel. So first thing I want to say is if you're part of the Boost Emotion family, that means you guys already hit the like button. I really appreciate you guys and thank you for always supporting the channel. And if you are new to this channel, watch this video and watch some other videos. I am Boost Emotion. I do know a lot of information about VQ35, VQ3.0, VQ3.7s, and VR30, VR30s, and the Q50, Q60. So anyway, guys, go. Let's jump into it. So I've been asked this question. Boost. Should I get a high mileage VR30? And I've come across this. So I took a look and I looked at what high mileage VR30 is out there and what the prices are going for. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was shocked in a good way. So anyways, let's jump into it. Let me show you guys. So the first contestant is going to be a, <laughs> it's going to be three cars. First one's going to be the blue one because, you know, I used to have the 2017 Q63 T Sport. But this one will be a 2017 T Premium Rear Drive. Now, this dealership in Inglewood, California wants $24,000 for this car. And the mileage is 112 with one owner. Now, let's take a couple of look at the photos. And you could tell this car is modified. Yes, it has a carbon hood. I don't know who would trade the car with a carbon hood, blacked out grill, front lip. Look like they did the side skirts. No, the side skirts already come like that. They might have, it's a premium, so they might have added the BBK, the added aftermarket set of wheels. And it is a one owner car. One owner. They even got the little red thing there. And I'm thinking to myself, right? I'm like, who would trade in this car modified? I'm not a fan of this interior though. But nonetheless, who would trade this car in, right? And I said to myself, they did. They drove this car with 112,000 miles. They already enjoyed the car. It even has Goodyear set of tires on it. They've enjoyed this car. They've had the fun. And they even added that that um still in rear um spoiler. And it seems like they have an aftermarket cat back exhaust too. So you know this car was modified. It doesn't look like it was lowered. Man, this one actually looks really good on this car. I do like it. I do like it. And that looks like ARC. That might be ARC or Fast Intentions Exhaust. So you're not only buying a high-mileage car, you're buying a modified high-mileage car. Wow. But nonetheless, y'all going to ask me, Boost, what do you think, right? And I went to the Carfax because, you know, the, the website from the dealer, the dealer actually had pretty much good reviews too. And I didn't see if there was going to be an upcharge. But let's go look at what the Carfax says, right? Because they, they provide a free Carfax. And the Carfax said this. Okay, where is the Carfax? I don't know how to read. <laughs> All right, so this is the Carfax for the car. One owner, it seemed like it had a damage reported, minor. So it wasn't a salvage rebuilt title. They owned it for it was a personal use, so it wasn't like a commercial or fleet use, like a rental use. And they had it for five, five years and four months. They probably got this car brand new because it's one owner. 26,000 miles a year. This is California, so they're probably were driving a lot of traffic. Accident reported, damage reported, 9-25-2017. Another accident reported, 2-26-2018. Pretty much when they first got the car. And another time, 7-0-3-2018. So they haven't had any accidents since 2018. Wink, wink, wink. And the warranty has expired. Nonetheless, it has a reporting how how often they it was structural damage okay so it shows you where you had the damage at mostly the driver's side and the driver rear um let's see if there's anything here that says maybe the turbos were replaced or the motor was replaced right the last records that from what i can see here was about 2022 this was this year 
It seemed like they went to Infinity and got this car serviced a lot. Service, service, engine checked, um, differential. They did everything. They did all the stuff they need to do with this car, and they did it at Glendale of Infinity. Wow. This car was really taken care of. Like, I'm shocked. I didn't think this car was going to be this taken care of. And nowhere in here do I read that the turbos were replaced. So this car seems like, and unless they've been lying, um, they haven't replaced the turbos. Airbrack computer module was replaced. This is, a lot of this stuff was done in the first year. So all the finicky stuff is already out the way. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't see nothing bad here. If you guys were going to ask me today, boost. Should you go and purchase? So should I go and purchase this 2017 high mileage Q60? And I'm gonna tell you, yeah, this is a good price. $24,000 in this inflated market. I know the mileage is high, but knowing that this car is pretty much modified pretty well, look like things that I would actually want in a car. And with the exception, you know, a lot of stuff was taken care of, but it might be tuned. It might not be tuned. I don't know. But just know that the only thing I would say look out for here is the turbos could be at the end of their life. But in all sense, top of that, this car was maintained quite well and consistently. You're buying a pretty much, at least if you go just on paper, from what they seem like, a pretty good maintained car. I would actually give this one a go. It's not a salvage rebuild. It did have a couple of accidents, but that was a long time ago. And the body is clean. So you guys may not be into it, but I would recommend this car as an actual go. Shout out to shout out to whoever gets this car. It looks like it's a good deal, $24,000. For you to get a 2015 Q60, you'll spend this much on a 3.7, like G37. So I think this is actually good if you care, if you don't, if the high mileage doesn't scare you, I would actually recommend this. But anyways, let's go. Let's continue. So there's a couple other ones here that I want to show you guys, all right? So there's enough. We're going up in mileage too. I just want you guys to know that. So now we're gonna look at a uh, which one? We're gonna look at a this one. Cool. We're looking at 2017 Q63 T Premium. This one will be twenty three thousand dollars, and it has a hundred and fifty thousand miles and three owners. Now, just at first glance, I'm not digging it at all. I'm um, three owners, a hundred and fifty thousand miles. That's three different people with three different type of driving styles. And the mileage is a lot higher. This car is pretty much stock from what I can see here. Um, seems like it had a rear decal delete, black on black. Car looks good. Don't have any tint. Oh, seats does have a little bit of wear, but not much. But it has not bad, actually. Probably was driven by a girl or somebody who's not that heavy. It looks well, pretty decently taken care of, but it's a black car. So, you know, you just add a little bit of armor all to it. Yeah, nonetheless, I don't really, nothing's really standing out here that I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Nothing really stands like this is a huge amount of wear. Okay, cool. Now, um, there's no free CarMax um, car thing included here. But let me go to the dealer, right? Bear with me, bear with me, guys. If you made this part, please hit the like button. Uh, let's see if we can find this on the dealer's website real quick. Maybe they provided us with a, um, let's see. Maybe they might have provided us with a car uh, thing. Shoot, they got the next, another one with 111,000 miles for $23,000. What? <laughs> I'm not even going to click on that one. Let's just go here. Let's see if there's a car, car fax. Show me a car fax revalue. Is there a car fax? Yes. They do have a Carfax available. So no accidents, 12 records. It says two previous owners, not three. So it seems like it might be a little out of date. I don't know. 2017 and then 2020. So the yeah, this one's out of date. It's not up to date. 18,000 miles. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This one seems like it's out of date. But there's no accidents. And let's see if there's anything now. There's really no records either. The second owner, the first owner had it from 2016 to 2020. Um, 10,000 miles. Okay, cool. And they offered to sell right around 53,000. Doesn't say that the turbos were replaced or anything like that at this point. Okay, cool. Second owner, once again, nothing. Tires mounted, oil filter. 
seemed like they were going there pretty consistently. Like every eight to to nine thousand miles, they were going back to a dealer or some kind of oil change place. So they were maintaining the car from what it looks like every ten, uh, seven. This one's a, almost every ten to eight thousand miles. They've been more, they've been taking care of the car, but they were their oil changes were from one hundred three to one fifteen. That's almost that's too much. That's like thirteen thousand miles. Or twelve to thirteen thousand miles on just one oil in these core. Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, no, no. I don't like that. I don't like those long oil changes. I don't care. There's not these 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 oil changes are too far between. I don't care. And this was in Texas. This car was in Texas. Texas heat too. No, no, no. I don't trust it. They were running this car too low on oil. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna tell you guys my honest opinion. No, uh, I'm not a fan of this car. Nope, I don't think you guys should get it. I think you should definitely uh, pass on this one. I, I pass on this car. Nope, because I looked at the Carfax and the Carfax is telling me no. I I I, I personally would not get this car. Nope. Um, even though it doesn't say anything was damaged or anything like that, um, all changes were every. This one is from what 80 vehicle serviced. 82 to 112. Okay, cool. All right. I get that. That was the that I get it, but okay. Well, I'm looking at the wrong one here. See, look, I'm looking at the wrong Carfax. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. Um, bear with me, guys. This Carfax. This one is for the one that has a hundred and something thousand miles of Texas heat. They got one old change, 83, then 89, then 97, then 102, then 115, and uh, no, no. I would I would tell you guys skip this car. I don't care if it doesn't have an accident or not. I don't care. No, I will definitely pass on this car. 150,000 miles to the owners, even on accidents. It's, it does have a service history, but it's 13 to 15,000 miles between the same place. I don't trust it. I would every. I recommend you guys change these all every three to 5,000 miles. I don't care. I don't know where this longer 13, 10 to 15,000 mile thing started. Like, no, I understand it's full synthetic. But this is a turbo car, man. No, I would pass on that one. So anyway, let's go. Let's screen share the last one, right? This one is going to shock you guys. And it shocked me too. So, whew, you guys ain't going to believe this. So I'm going to share this one with you guys. So this one is a 2017 Q60 Premium, right? Um, Looks good. Looks pretty well kept, right? Looks well kept. Doesn't look modified or anything like that. Nothing really stayed out and damaged or anything like that. Cool. Click it off. But it is overpriced by $4,000. And let's see why. This car has 183,000 miles on it. Guys, you heard what I just said. $183,000. One owner. What the hell were they doing? What kind of driving? Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to find it. So bear with me, guys. I'm see if I can try to find a car on the dealer website, but it's insane. I for it to have that much mileage is just astounding to me. So um I'm clicking on it. Let me just see if they have a quick carfax. If they have a carfax, I'll show it. If they don't, then it is what it is. And this website, their this dealer website does not provide a car fax for this car so there's nothing for me to show you on the history of this car but what i could do is screen share to the original dealer's website bear with me guys i'm going to screen share that one and we're going to go to the dealer's website all right cool this is the dealer's website they want 23 for this car that's their price you save x amount of price <sighs> I, short answer, boost. Should I be buying a 2017 Q60 with 183,000 miles for $22,000? I'm going to tell you guys, hell no. Because for a couple of thousand dollars more, most of you guys are financing. It's not going to be a huge difference in your payment to go from 23 to like 26, 27. We could get cars within 60 to 50,000 miles for like 25, 26. For you to save $3,000 here just, just to finance a car with 183,000 miles on it wouldn't even make any sense. Uh, no. 
This one is a no. Do not do it. it what, financially, wouldn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. If this car was like a crazy steal, like 18, 19K, then I could kind of see it. It would offset it. But for this car to have 200,000, almost 200,000 miles on a, possibly the original motor, original turbos, we don't know. I don't have the car facts. But Lord, this this is this is something serious. I, I never thought I would see cars with such high mileage. Like I'm happy to see they're on the road. One owner at that. Man, guys, man. Let me see if I can try to try to, one of these other free websites and see if there's may give me a little bit more information. And no, I'll put it in uh, Epic Vin. It just says auction sales one, 22 photos, audimeter, no problems found, no accidents. So just quick glance at this other website I check, it's not coming up as any accident. So this person might have dro driven this car and not have any issues. But this one's a pass, guys. I would not get this car. Even though I'm comparing this one, 183 to 111. Look at the price difference. A thousand to two thousand dollar difference between 111 and 183. I would rather get the hundred, even if the 111 was about 24, uh, was about was was stock, not modified. I would still rather you save with pay another two, three thousand dollars just to get the car with um once again, you already know the service industry, but uh, how quickly I always service the car. Old car was already taken care of, and also on top of that, you have like 70,000, 60,000 or less amount of miles. Some of you guys may not drive that often, so I would rather you guys get the blue one for 111 because it at this point there's a price drop, but 183. And some of you guys may not have good credit, so you guys can go get this car and overspend after finance charge. You might be spending thirty thousand dollars for a car with 183,000 miles. No, this is a hard pass. Do not get this car. Do not get this car at all. So I'll say that, guys. This is my honest opinion. Should you get a high mileage VR30? Yes, you actually could. But look into the service industry. Uh, look into the car facts, auto check. See if the car was taken care of. Um, also look and see if there's any accidents, anything rebuilt. If any of these cars were salvage rebuilt, then I'm surprised I didn't see that here. Pretty much you're just paying for something with super high mileage. Salvage rebuild could be a little different. Some of you guys may not care. Um, some of you guys may care. I do care about salvage rebuild because at the end of the day, it, the price of the car is a lot lower. So if you drive that car and crash it and you finance the car for $30,000, but the, 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 because it's salvage rebuilt, uh, Geico may only give you like $20,000 in a car. And if you don't have gap insurance, you're screwed. That Ken K is owed by you. So I'll say guys. You have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for always playing with your boy Boost. I really appreciate you guys. So you already know what to do. Hit the like button if you haven't. Well, yeah. Hit the like button if you already haven't. And I'll say that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Emotion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, Please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube.